Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to show you our project today. It is doing a fast food restaurant. And I took this video right here because I wanted to show you when we do flat work around sidewalks, we always hit up about two feet on the wall because you can see the mortar joints are all gone in these brick. That's because the salt just, where if you're in an area like I live in where they use salt for ice melt, it just destroys anything masonry, uh, concrete wise. It'll just destroy it. So yeah salt salt's bad man so for restaurant cleaning you'll need a broom you'll need a hot water pressure washer and if you don't have a hot water pressure washer rent one you know a hot water pressure washer a backpack blower or just a blower um and a backpack sprayer or just a sprayer a backpack sprayer one of those cheap ones from F F harbor freight for doing curbs and stuff it, you, you'll fly through them but um I put down sodium hydroxide. You can also use potassium hydroxide. for It works better for grease stains. I'm using sodium hydroxide here for uh, oil stains on the lot. You'll want to set up... I like to use back guards where there's uh, catch basins. Set up a back guard and then behind it set up a sandbag with uh, like a pump, sump pump, to pump it into the land, landscape. Don't let it go into the catch basin. And then you'll have to sweep up all the leftover stuff and put it into a bucket or whatever. I put them in a bucket. You can take a garbage can, whatever. But I, you see there, I like to wrap my line back. That way when I drive forward, it'll uh, pull as I go when I'm working by myself. And this is just a hard oil stain. This old concrete. So it's not going to come out. There's always going to be a shadow. So I put down a little sodium hydroxide, a more concentrated mix, just blend it around a little bit. And you'll be able to see on the concrete that's newer, the oil stains come out much better. You're, you're always going to have some shadowing though. Same with gum. Anywhere there's gum, there's going to be like a petrified gum stain. It's just what it is. Uh, you'll have to let them know about that ahead of time. I've had some property managers try to tell me, oh, why is it still black? It's because there's petrified gum stain. It's oil marked. And I like to use these little uh, extenders on my gun. It just makes it easier for in and out stuff. Use a long gun if you're doing a lot of work. But with the hot water, you just go over the gum like this with a white tip and it comes right off. I'm trying to be careful there not to push too much of that loose gravel out of the, the drive through. But um, yeah, it's as easy as that. If you don't have hot water yet, rent it. Don't go trying to just half butt it because you're going to make a bad name for your business brand. There's so many people like, oh, do what I have to. And then they'll put like the flex emoji up. No, if you're not ready yet, you're not ready yet. Or be smart and rent. You need hot water for this stuff. You can see there are more mortar joints flushed out. Since this, th these mortar joints are dyed red, I had to be careful because it just leeches and leeches. And then right here, you can see where the surface cleaner m missed that little bit of uh, grease from where they come out the back door. When you hit this, you want to come in at an angle or else you'll shoot greasy water inside so you can see here this is newer concrete the surface cleaner with some hot water actually that's cold water it's cutting right through that oil there's still some shadowing but you're gonna have that man and here's just uh some before and after pictures i'm looking into getting a buffer because i guess like a concrete buffer or floor buffer you can use that for stripping sealers and getting rid of oil stains what have you and it works so good but um, from what I'm told, and I mean, just keep investing into more and more equipment, building it up. Also, whenever you're washing these, make sure you chase the water to wherever you have your sump pump set up because there will be chemical, residual, crappy water that'll stain up the asphalt. You don't want that. You'll get complaints. But just keep building up the equipment you have, picking up more and more restaurants. You can bust them out in the morning before you do the rest of your jobs. If you get in with a property maintenance company, they'll keep feeding you them. They'll keep you busy. And the more you learn, the better you can do at these things. When you're done, give it a nice blow job. Get rid of all the money.